Don't want to use a Microsoft account on Windows 11, but you're being forced to? Well, I've got three safe and verified ways to get you a local user account during Windows setup. No Microsoft account needed. So let's get to it. Although there may be a few situations where you may need or want to sign into your PC with a Microsoft account, I'm generally not a fan of it. And I'll say that when we are helping customers in our repair shop, the Microsoft account login tends to complicate the support process at times. No one remembers their actual password because they've set up a PIN. We tend to see user account performance issues, weird syncing issues, and settings that seemingly just enable themselves with Microsoft accounts. So, Today, we'll look at three different methods to bypass the Microsoft requirement when installing or setting up Windows 11. The first method is super simple and currently working in Windows 11 25 H2. I'd suggest you unplug any Ethernet cables you have plugged into the PC you're setting up and skip any Wi-Fi connection if directed. During your Windows 11 installation, you'll be presented with a few questions narrowing down your OS regional settings. Select these as desired. When you get to the connect your network stage, here's our first trick. On your keyboard, hold the shift key and the F10 key to bring up a command prompt. If you're on a laptop, you may need to hit the Fn key along with the shift key and F10 key. At our command prompt type the following, start space ms dash cxh colon local only and then hit enter. You'll be presented with a local user creation pop-up, name your user and click next. And as you see, we now have a local user named lab. The next method is pretty slick. Basically, we'll download and run a little script to automatically create a local user called admin during setup. I've seen a few other tech content creators use this method, so I decided to try it out, and it worked great. So thank you specifically to the Tips2Fix channel for this script. For this method, you'll want to have the internet connected to your PC via Ethernet, or connect to your Wi-Fi during the installation. Again, during the setup, we'll hold the Shift key and the F10 key to bring up a command prompt. Next, we'll type the following to download the little script file. Type curl space dash l space tips to fix.com forward slash bypass space dash o space skip dot cmds and hit enter now that we've downloaded our script let's run it by typing skip dot cmd and hitting enter It will now finish up the Windows install normally. And again, we have a new local user named admin. This last method is a little more complex and lengthier than the others, but it works. Again, during your Windows 11 install, hold the Shift key and the F10 key to bring up a command prompt. Next, type the following command, net space user space, your username space asterisk forward slash add and hit enter. Again, you'll replace lab with your desired username. Next, type a desired password and hit enter. Type it again to confirm and hit enter. Next, type the following, net space local group space administrators space your username space forward slash add and hit enter. Now, type the following, net space user space your username space forward slash active colon yes and hit enter now type the following net space user space your username space forward slash expires colon never and hit enter now type the following net space user space administrator space forward slash active colon no and hit enter now type the following net space user space default user zero 
space forward slash delete and hit enter. Next, we'll check that our new user was created. To do this, type net space user and hit enter. And as you see, our lab user is available. All right, good work adding that user. Now let's go clean a few things up in the Windows registry. In the command prompt, type regedit and hit enter. Here the Windows registry should open up. Now we'll want to navigate to the following location and delete a few things. We'll go to computer, H key, local machine, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, and click on the OOBE folder. Next, let's delete the default account SID key. Now let's delete the default account SAM name key. Lastly, delete the default account action key. Now, we want to rename the launch user OOBE key. To do this, right click the key and click rename. Let's rename the key to skip machine OOBE and hit enter. Now you can close out regedit. Now let's restart our machine by typing the following command. Shutdown space forward slash r space forward slash t space zero and hit enter. Your PC will now restart and finish up with the Windows 11 installation. Here we're prompted to log into the lab user we created with the password we created. And finally, we're into our newly created local user account. I hope you enjoyed seeing the various ways you can set up a local user account during Windows 11 installation. Let us know in the comments if one of them worked for you. If this video helped you, please smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more Windows tips and tricks. It really is the best way you can support the channel. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, everyone.